Yo, guys, what is up? It's Teach here coming at you again with another video over on Ark Survival Ascended. And I wanted to show you how the Phoenix can be used inside of the new update with Scorched Earth just coming out. Now, they're much easier to tame because they've kind of changed how they look. They've changed their, I mean, obviously, like secretly kind of changed their appearance that they can land and a few different things about them, right? Now, obviously, there's still no gender, so they cannot breed, unfortunately. However, they still have a lot of similar and a little bit of varying functionality. So, the Phoenix, right? Now, if you didn't know this already, they serve as kind of like a camp fire slash forge, if you want to think of it that way. So anything that can be cooked that you can put inside them, so that includes cooked meat and that includes metal, anything that can be cooked can be placed inside of a Phoenix in order to cook it. Now, a lot of people forget that. Is it useful? I mean, at best, not really. Um, it's It doesn't work all that fast either. It's a pretty slow, it's like your generic, um, let's say a refining forge is way faster than just having one, one of these guys. And this is probably even slower than a regular forge in my opinion. Um, but they do cook things. It's just at a pretty slow rate. Um, and uh, yeah, that's, that's pretty much what it is. Uh, so that's their main draw for actually having stuff in their inventory. They have a good health and good base stat pool, but because they are not breedable and don't wear a saddle, they can be a little bit squishier. So that's a little bit of a problem when it comes to Phoenixes. But in honesty, you're not really taming a Phoenix for any other reason than they look awesome. And to say that you have a Phoenix, that's it pretty much, right? Now, when uh, Aberration does come out, and uh, you get some of the other maps. There are benefits to having the Phoenixes, but we'll talk about that in a second here. So anyways, they look super cool. They can be random colors. They do have the six different color biomes, so they can have a lot of unique colorations to them, and the Easter colors can be picked up by them. Now, they can wear a costume. I don't know what that costume is, but technically it's possible. Uh, just so you are aware, it, it is something that can be done. Now, they have a few basic attacks. They have a bite attack. That is a click attack, just your left click. They have a secondary launch a fireball at something. You can kind of see that over there. And once it hits the ground, it'll kind of explode into a large area of effect fireball. You can see that right there and light things on fire in that radius. They have a C kind of like pounce attack, and that will deal a little bit more damage than the regular bite. Um, and it's kind of just like, you know, their basic attack. Um, and then they have one special attack called the blaze, or I guess if you want to call it the blaze, if you hold space bar when you're going with one of these things, they reach high speeds and then anything that is nearby their flight path um, will light on fire. Now, I'd say high speeds is very generous because it doesn't move all that fast. It's definitely quick enough to notice, but notice how everything in that flight pathway right there just got lit on fire. So that's kind of cool. So you light everything, you can kind of like dive bomb things, which is pretty unique. Now, also, one thing to note is that every single time they attack, they will actually gather a ridiculous amount of stuff because they kind of get like four star gathering. But the important thing is when they attack, they actually light things on fire with every attack they have. So it'll prevent healing and it will apply the base engulfed damage to something. Now, it's not going to tick health percent like it used to. Um, but it will tick away slowly to prevent healing. Now, again, max health, I mean, max health burn is no longer a thing. So you're just going to get like, give or take, like it's around like 40 burn um, if something can take the damage. So it's not really super valuable for PvP purposes, other than maybe lighting riders on fire on top of their tames. Because it will eventually light things, like if you just keep dive bombing things, um, people will, like it goes through walls and stuff like that. So you can kind of melt things and riders instead of the actual tames. So that can be useful. But because it doesn't have a saddle, it's incredibly squishy. So keep that in mind, right? That's something that kind of sucks. Now, the other purpose of the Phoenix is it's commonly unknown, but if you, once, uh, once you get to like uh, extinction, this is when it becomes powerful. The Phoenix, when it poops, doesn't poop normal poop. It actually poops silica pearls. Every time you pick up the silica pearls, you get 15 silica pearls per time so you can every time they poop so every time they lose stamina and then lose food they poop which causes them to actually drop those silica pearls once uh extinction releases now that's not till quarter one of next year according to arc um you will be able to change quite a bit of stuff about it because you can have a couple of gotchas behind the phoenix eating the silica pearls and uh, it becomes like a silica pearl farm which is really really useful obviously so you don't have to go get silica pearls to make electronic and other uh, random stuff uh, so it's a huge, huge advantage. 
So other than that, Phoenix are kind of like a luxury team. They don't really have any super values. They can go through the Wyvern Canyon really quickly and light things on fire and get out. But again, I'd rather just use something that's less difficult to tame because in order to tame them, you have to light them on fire with a high uh, powerful fire wyvern or use a flamethrower. And that's not necessarily an easy task to do. Um, you can put them on aggressive and they will use their blaze targeting. Uh, you can technically, let's see if I can, it, it used to let you go into turret mode on these things, but I do not see that anymore because they would launch the fireballs. Uh, so I don't think that it's an enableable thing on this guy anymore, which sucks because that was a really powerful thing that you used to be able to do. Uh, harvest settings, it doesn't really change anything. And uh, yeah, no. pretty cool tame, but again, it's definitely a luxury tame, not something that is a really high value tame. It's people like it for some reason, so you can use them to trade for a lot, uh, but they don't really have any good purpose other than looking cool. So hopefully this video helps you out. And other than that, teach. Ow.